Hey, what's up guys? It's Banu here from Android.com. So I have the Apple Vision Pro right here in my hand. I have already brought you guys the unboxing and initial setup right here in Sri Lanka powered by Ideals. And uh, you can go ahead and check out that video in case you, if you haven't watched that already by checking the link down below in the description. Now that I've played with it for a bit, I think it's time for me to bring you guys a tour of what Vision OS looks like on the Vision Pro. I already brought you guys the unboxing and the setup video for the Vision Pro. In case if you guys haven't watched that video on my channel, definitely go ahead and check it out. I'll have a link for it down below in the description. And I also found a solution um, for the problem that I mentioned in my unboxing and setup video, which is like I wear glasses, right? So uh, without this, I can't really see much. So. Uh, for this Vision Pro, I couldn't even get the optics. So because of that, I had to find an alternative and I found the perfect alternative for just the moment and that's contact lenses. Luckily, I had a pair lying around at home. So I'm wearing contact lenses right now. So I can really use the Vision Pro without much um, of a prob problem right now. So let's go ahead and get into the Vision Pro right now so that I can show you guys a demo of what Vision OS looks like. So I'm planning to do a screen recording of uh, what I see so that you guys can experience the same with me. So if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Let's go ahead and explore the Apple Vision Pro and Vision OS right here. Now I'm wearing the Apple Vision Pro right now. So for the very first time, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go here and go into the control center and start the screen recording because that is very important. Then you guys can see what exactly I'm seeing as well. This is what uh, Vision OS actually looks like. So I'm just going to get that over to this side so it's more comfortable for me to show you guys. Okay, so this is what Vision OS actually looks like when you get into it for the very first time. You see a bunch of apps that are available, um, the Apple TV app, Apple Music app, Mindfulness, Settings, Freeform, Safari, Photos, Notes, Apple Store, Mail, Messages, Compatible Apps and Files. And if you go into this side, you see Tips. So that's about it uh, at the start and if you go into Compatible Apps, you see a couple of Compatible Apple Apps that are laid out right over here so if i just go into let's say the clock for an example i can show you this is what the clock app looks like so i can just move around and see all of that so i'm just going to close out of that and go out from here uh, something that i want to highlight is at launch the apple app store is not really supported in sri lanka so you can see that the apple app store isn't available in your country or region this pop-up comes up when you open up the app store and that's such a bummer because you won't uh, have access to any of the apps uh, that are available uh, on the vision os app ecosystem so right now i am in the settings just to show you guys what vision os uh, looks like what the settings of vision os looks like uh, so first off i'm going to go into about and show you that this is indeed the apple vision pro and you can see the serial number coverage and uh, Basically, the capacity is 256 uh, gigs, so that's that. And I've updated this to the latest uh, software, Vision OS 1.0.3. Um, I can even enable beta updates from here, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, just installed the latest update that was uh, 1.0.3, and we are running that right now. So we also get AirDrop with the Apple Vision Pro, so that's pretty great. Uh, that's how you can basically transfer the content like the photos or the videos that you capture with the Vision Pro onto your device uh, using this. You can transfer it easily to your Mac or your iPhone using this. So these settings are quite uh, similar to what you see on your iPhone as well. You also have VPN and device management and all of that. And you, from here, you can go ahead and reset your Vision Pro if you want. So that's that. Uh, here on the side, you get the airplane mode option, Wi-Fi option, Bluetooth option. And after that, there are a couple of other options that we are going to check out right now. So if I go into the app section, so how the, uh, you know, the UI really works is when I look at something only that comes into, you know, 
uh, the selection mode right so right now i'm looking at people that's why it's selected now i'm looking at environments that's why it's selected right so i can just uh, see, see between each one and it will just select accordingly now we are in, under apps and this will show all the list of apps that are available right out of the box i haven't installed any third party apps whatsoever because the app store is not really available which is such a bummer i hope that the app store will be uh, available for the vision pro very soon right here in sri lanka as well now if you go into the people section under accounts you can really add any account like for an example even your, even your google account yahoo account outlook account or any other icloud account you can add from here uh, to the vision pro as well next up we have environment so these are what like the virtual environments that you have so you can go ahead and rotate the digital crown like this and get into this kind of virtual environment so i'm in a place with snow right now so this is what it looks like when i look around no matter where i look this is what it looks like right i can uh, come out of it or stay inside it so if i just come out of it it just disappears and brings me back to the real world i like to you know i prefer to stay in the real world so um, uh, and i have just uh, set this to automatic if you want you can set light or dark mode specifically now going into notifications we have a lot of notification options that are available here that you can control like for facetime and stuff like that you can go into that and you know uh, enable or disable notifications for a particular app from this section now next we have the sound options we don't have much options here you just have the option to adjust the ringtone alerts and uh, turn on and off uh, personalized spatial audio and all of that next we have the focus mode that is available right here so here we have the same focus mode options that we have on uh, your iphone or or your on your apple watch or ipad or your mac that you have set up all those same focus modes will be transferred over here so you can easily enable that uh, when you're using your vision pro if you wish you can also get into that through the control panel that i'll control center that i'll show you a bit later so these are the screen time uh, options that we have then we have the FaceTime options you can enable or disable that then we have the persona which is currently in beta right so uh, because i'm looking up uh, it's uh, you know detecting my eyes like that uh, it's still in beta stage so it's not really accurate but you can see that when i'm talking uh, the vision pro is able to detect that and even my facial expressions now if i try to smile with my teeth like that right uh, it looks a bit creepy especially if you see like the eyes the difference in the eyes one eye is a bit bigger than the other one right like the eyeball so those kinds of uh, problems are there and the expressions are not really that great it looks like the rocks uh, um, you know raised eyebrow right right now uh, so that kind of thing is there but you can go into edit details under persona and you know adjust the lighting if you want if you can go into uh, the next stage and add you know glasses and stuff like that you can change the temperature uh, and you can select eyewear like uh, for an example if you want to select some type of glass you can do that but i prefer to not have anything so i just go ahead and press save on that so that's what persona looks like on the apple vision pro next we have uh, eyes and hands so this is what the eyes and, eyes and hands looks uh, look like so basically this is uh, for the controlling of the vision pro so basically you're using your eyes uh, to see and your hands to select that that's what the input is like for the vision pro and that is what uh, this experience is about so i'm just going to show you that right now and i even showed you how that setup works in the unboxing in case you guys want to check that out go ahead and check my unboxing video uh, that i'll link down below in the description next we have the people awareness section so you can enable show people through environments and immersive apps or everything uh, or you can just enable it for environments which is the default option so i'm going to let that be right there right now but i can adjust that later if i want next we have a couple of accessibility options uh, that are available here as well so if you're interested in that you can go ahead and check it out from here so they have thought about a lot of things so similar to the accessibility options that we have on the mac on uh, ios and all of that you can uh, see those things right here so we have the control center position and uh, more controls that can be added to the control center are also available so i'm going to go ahead and add airdrop right there now that i saw that because it might be quite useful then we have the siri option so you say say siri or hey siri so let's try that out right now hey siri what's the weather right now in colombo 
So you can see Siri looks like you know much more 3D looking right now, and it looks uh, quite good. I think this is the best version of uh, Siri I've seen. Uh, so that that's pretty great. Uh, next, we have the privacy and security options. So we have a lot of options right over here that you can see. So a lot of options here. Then we have the display options. We have the text size and all those things uh, that you can adjust. Then we have the battery options with the battery percentage. Then we have the storage options where you have only 256 gigabytes of storage on the Vision Pro. So you can see already 3.4 gigabytes has been taken uh, on this device uh, because of the captures that I've already taken. So I'm going to go into the next section that is uh, optical ID. So th think of this like face ID, but uh, with your eyes for the Vision Pro. So as soon as you wear it for the first time or like, you know, after a while when you wear it, it automatically recognizes your eyes and unlocks. So you don't have to input the lock code like I showed you guys before. And Optic ID will be used in these sc uh, scenarios as well. So that's uh, pretty great. So if I go into the next option, that is the game sent option, we have uh, these section, these settings over here. Then we have TV provider and wallet and Apple Play, which uh, Apple Pay, which is not really supported in Sri Lanka. So no point of checking that at all. So this is what uh, the Vision OS settings look like as of uh, 1.0.3. Uh, so I'm going to close out of that and just look up and drag the control center down. You can see that it's recording right now. The screen recording is happening right now. So we have options to go home. We have options for the environment, we have control center, and we have the option for various notifications in the notification center. So those are the options that are available. If I go into control center right now, you can see like when a song is playing, you can control that. Uh, you have, you know, the, uh, the focus mode, you have the travel mode, and uh, you have the guest mode, and all those modes that are available here that you can see. And now the airdrop option is also available here and that is what the uh, screen recording is happening right now so i'm going to go ahead and stop the screen recording right now that's about it for this video guys i hope this was useful if you have any questions go ahead and drop a comment share this video with a friend who you think will find it interesting and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new to my channel as well until i see you guys in my next video this is Pan.